what's going on fam welcome back to another video we as most of y'all know we just recently got some rabbits and we almost lost them in one night So we had our rabbits right here uh, with the uh, hutch that was given to us uh, to try out and whatnot. And we had them up on a platform with a wire mesh at the bottom, uh, whatnot, so we can collect all the poop, had a bucket underneath there. Got them on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. Woke up uh, around 2.30, 3 o'clock this morning and I, I heard a noise in the back and it sounded like some dogs or some type of animal scruffling in the back, our backyard area. I didn't pay it no mind. And then all of a sudden I hear a, you know, kind of whipping. And so I got up, looked outside the uh, bedroom window and I saw some uh, dogs over there by our hut. So I panicked, I went out, tried to get my shoes on and I just like by the time I got to the door I was like hey get away from my bunny so I was frantic and by the time I got to the door I just got out there and just was like hey get away from my uh, rabbit shoo shoo and they just took off and uh, I looked got to the hutch and I looked and was counting them and saw that um, two of our Two of our rabbits was gone and I was like oh, our male rabbits at that so I was kind of devastated I saw that the dogs had kind of went through uh, was kind of digging trying to get through and whatnot looked like they've been clawing at matter of fact let me show you so they were like clawing through here trying to bite down you could see like the claw marks and whatnot all through here they basically had punctured through here punctured all back here and uh, looks like they were even claw right up here, just trying to get inside the rabbits. Uh, this was kind of pulled out a little bit. This was all caved in. This was this area right here was caved in, and it was just horrific. Now this wire that they that came with this hutch is very thin, and I should have known better myself. I should have at least added some more protection through here. And also through the side, I wind up last night adding a thicker gauge uh, hardware cloth right here so it's more uh, durable. Uh, however, this was never our permanent structure for our rabbit. So we wind up uh, finding two of the rabbits. Uh, there was one doe, one buck that we found and we put them inside. We stayed up late. Uh, making sure everything was secured and, and whatnot and I thought I felt comfortable everything was good I had everything thought we had everything finished and um, there was no other loose ends and then went back to sleep but I couldn't I couldn't rest easy and the missus couldn't rest easy and so like an hour later I got up and I just looked out the window and I started seeing uh, some bunnies I was like oh he's back we found him. So I go rushing outside and I see that it's two of the other females or the two of the other does and the buck had got out. There was a, another hole. So we had to secure it again, find out where the hole was and secure it in it. And it was a, almost a pain in the butt just to even capture them. So we finally got them all secured. So we put this other hardware cloth right here. Right here is a hole looked like where they had dented in and the rabbits were able to find it and hop out of it. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we just put this here temporarily until uh, we build their, their new place. So the missus came up with the idea to put the hutch inside of our uh, John Svaskovich meat tractor, which I thought was a pretty good idea. Kind of add a little bit more security. Uh, we're gonna put the uh, shade cloth right over there to kind of keep it more secure because as y'all know chicken wire is not going to do the trick so all this morning my stomach has just been bothered we got our three does and one of our bucks just can't find the other buck and we've been looking all through here uh throughout the uh, property just to see if he was able to 
uh, just wander out and whatnot. Because when we were looking out the window and I saw the rabbits were out and about, they stayed in the area, but and they stayed near the hutch, but they was going up and around the vehicles. Uh, and so we had to kind of lure them with some food, capture them, put them in their, put them in their cage and kind of secure them. So I've just been wandering all through the property, just trying to uh, see if I find any signs of him because it's just that unknown part where is he alive? Is he dead? Is he hiding? Where is he at? I'm just been walking the property, just trying to see if he ventured out or whatnot, but we definitely have to get this structure. So I'm gonna stay up as late as I can to get their, their little hutch complete it so we went to the big box store to get some lumber uh to build the uh hutch i was watching we've been watching better together live for some time now and we was watching bo's rendition of what how he built his rabbit hutch so we hit them up sidebar and was asking them uh you know what did they use is is pine okay i know we couldn't use pressure treated wood because the rabbits like to chew on different uh, things, especially of the wood that's already at the hutch. Uh, so I want to try to find the least toxic um, wood that we can use. And I just decided to go with pine. I know it's probably not the best. I'm probably going to get some uh, feedback on the comments, but it is what it is. We're trying to do the best that we can. We're not rabbit husbandry experts or anything. We're just learning. And so we're just going with this route. So I've been looking all throughout this pasture area and whatnot. Just hoping I see some life of him. Uh, we even been walking all past through there uh, behind the house and whatnot and just can't find anything. All right, so I didn't get to finish this all in one day. I'm a lot more calmer than I was initially when all of the this incident happened. We couldn't sleep for like two days. I was burning the midnight oil up to about two o'clock for the last two, three days trying to get this stuff built. And I couldn't really build it during the heat of the day because it was just extremely too hot here. It could have probably been a lot faster if I had some plans, but I really didn't have anything to go off of this. And so I was just kind of going with the flow. Like I said, I was had a little bit of the concept of Bo from Better Together Live and some other YouTube channels. Uh, so I just basically came up with this and I think it fits very well. There's some pros and cons, which we'll cover here shortly. But before we get to that, I would like to say when we posted this incident on our Instagram page, a lot of people were kind of upset that we were uh, even considering dispatching Possibly, yeah dispatching a dog that we didn't know or whatever it may be uh, but you've got to understand this is our homestead that everything on this homestead has some type of monetary value and give income to the our our homestead uh, so when anything of that nature attacks or takes that income away we feel heartbroken we don't want to do it, but at the same time, you know, we have to protect what's ours. We didn't even want to consider hurting an animal, a dog especially. But I have to say, I was disappointed that people did try to be upset at us to consider. And I, I just want to call it what it is. That's victim shaming. You know, if we're trying to protect our animals, We've gone out of our way to get to know our neighbors. We know their dogs. This wasn't a dog that we even knew. Mm -mm. And those neighbors with dogs that we've met that have gotten loose agreed that we should dispatch if an animal, even if it were theirs, were hurting our animals. I know we don't have a perimeter fence. That's the reason why we use our Gallagher uh, electrified poultry fencing to protect most of our animals. It was really nothing we can do to protect them, uh, the rabbits besides keep them on the shade. The hutch that we have is a great hut uh, for residential and urban uh, backyard raisers of rabbits. I think you did a fantastic job on this build. No, I do. thank you. You did a really good job. It looks attractive. I wanted it in the shade when we talked about building it. 
and this was the perfect spot. Now you initially wanted to put it underneath the trees, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I just really like the convenience of being able to catch the rabbit poop right here, walking out the door, seeing them. I, I just really like the setup. Now, one of the pros I like about this hutch is how high it is. It's uh, about four feet high from the top, so that way it makes it very easy, accessible, where we're not either bending down too far or have to get up on the tiptoe, then it's perfect height, even for Mrs. Naked Gardener. Well, we're a foot apart. <laughs> I'm 5'2", he's like almost 6'2", so you can see us next to it. It's accessible for both of us. I'd like the latches on here. I made sure that uh, we have these latches with carabiners. Mrs. Naked Gardener didn't like the fact that once we took the carabiners off, that we had to uh, I place knew it he, somewhere. I knew he was not going to keep track <laughs> of them. And I am so OCD. I was like carrying it and felt awkward. And I was like, we need a way to like just tie this and have it hang. So uh, what I just did is I just got some parachute cord and tied it on there. So whenever we unlatch it, it's right there. You can't walk off with uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it's able to have accessibility with the water bottles and the food trays. Uh, and we also got a hay feeder for them to even get some of their Bermuda or alfalfa hay that they have in there. I, I took and um, it, it was an idea that I used for the chickens and we have some AstroTurf that we got because I want to be able to switch out for the egg layers and the nesting boxes. But when this build came about, and we were concerned about how the uh, netting was gonna be like on their feet at the bottom. I decided to go ahead and cut out some of those uh, pieces to fit the dimensions inside of here so that they would have a place to lay. And it's really easy to shake those rugs out, very mm -hmm. easy to spray them, air dry them if I need to at any time. And they only get like a little bit of poop on it. They, yeah. We already figured out where their pee corners were and they. <laughs> So they haven't been peeing on it, uh, but that's working out great. And the reason why we did that, like she said, uh, there was we couldn't find any PVC coated uh, hardware cloth, so that's why we went with the uh, AstroTurf area. Uh, Mrs. Naked Gardener put a little uh, hiding space for them. We'll probably eventually. Those were free um, pots that you got at a construction site yeah. uh, that they had trees in. Yeah. And I just, um, initially I put them in there like sideways, but they were getting in it and like rocking side <laughs> to side. Um, so I just like cut a little hole out of it and they've been like crawling into it and enjoying it. Yeah. And then another thing I like about it, and I haven't got to it just yet, is the roof area. Uh, we're thinking about possibly doing some PVC uh, roof panels so that way it protects them from the rains. Uh, but right now we're in the drought season in Texas, so we don't really have to worry about rain as of yet to probably, possibly to September by then, it should be covered. We left enough room up here, so that way we can put some uh, box fans that you could daisy chain to with each other. You was talking about. Yeah, I wanted to put, uh, cause I saw, in some of the grow rack rooms uh, mm -hmm. for microgreens, how they have some of those fans. And I was thinking, and I, I had those in mind because of, and I didn't know it was called a daisy chain where you can like <laughs> link them to each other for those of you that didn't know too. Uh, I wanted something like that so that I didn't have like a bunch of cords everywhere uh, because rabbits will chew on things, not that they were gonna get to it, yeah. but I wanted to be able to put them on the tops of each one, have them have an individual one. Um, and the way that you design the roofing, we'll be able to have a space for that. Yeah, so, but right now we just got uh, some uh, shade fabric cloth uh, that I got from the job site because once they get done with the landscaping, uh, when they transport in the trees, they normally cover it with some type of landscape and they was throwing it away. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's valuable. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep that. I'll make something out of that. Yeah, yeah we use it for animals. Yeah, everything, yeah. so as you can see. Uh, another thing I like about this is the accessible poop trays for the rabbit poop. You, you, can you measured these out, right? Perfectly uh, and gave it a little bit space to, for uh, clearance and everything. You're able, we're able to pull these out to where they're, each one of these will be right directly underneath each rabbit. Uh, so we can harvest those poop, put them either in the compost bin, make some rabbit poop tea, 
or even put it directly into our garden. So that was an extra good feature we did on that. And these are just large cement trays that you can get from any big box stores. I asked a lot of rabbit husbandry or, or a lot of rabbit keepers about what is the perfect size for each one of these bins. And they were saying for the females, they need a lot, uh, a lot more room than the males. And when you put the females in with the males, uh, the males really don't need that much room because they're not going to be having the, the kits or what they call the, the little baby bunnies with them. So that's the reason why you want the extra room for there. So these are about 25 by 30 and about 36 uh, tall. And we are talking about uh, coming up with like a little shelf thing that we can put in the back for them for each one of them to kind of like jump up on. Just boredom buster stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this wood is pine, but it is heat treated. It's not chemical based. So if the rabbits do wind up chewing on the wood, hopefully it's not as much toxicity in that, but uh, it should be protected at least from the weather. Uh, for the foot of each one of these legs, I got a cement paver on underneath them. So that way in this area, it floods, it has poor drainage. And so if we get like a good rainfall during the springtime water will sit here for about a good day or so yeah but it's up on these little cement things that is going to keep it elevated and more protected from that happening yeah now one thing i wish i would have changed about this and i probably possibly could still do it is at the end of each one of these i should have had the legs or the end wall uh rotated on the outside because with this uh, latch here we had to go with a different secure latch or a hook so that way we can get to this little gate lock right there. Yeah, the carabiner didn't fit properly. Uh -uh. Yeah, but I had an extra little spring hook um, and it, I mean, it works perfect. One of our fans or viewers suggested we put one of the milk jug and some water that's frozen right next to them and they just been loving that now. We normally do that towards the end or to about midday. Yeah, I wait until around noon to one o'clock and put it in. Yeah. And so they get it at the hottest part of the day. And they just sit right next to it. They <laughs> just be like, oh. <laughs> oh, uh. you switch. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate everybody for the kind words from Instagram. We posted about this. Yeah, incident. and we do share stuff like this more immediately um, on Instagram and TikTok. Also. Yeah. So, like, if you want little insider stuff before our videos come out, that's usually going to be the hint space. If you're interested in seeing a video on how he built this, because honestly, I think it was genius, some of the stuff that was put together. And it wasn't all him. It, he took ideas from different things. But if you're interested in that, comment down below. We'd be happy to share a video about how he did this build. Now, if you want to see how we built the a 2 vin rabbit hutch and also got our rabbits, we'll put that video off to the side and also in the description down below. Until the next video, let's grow together.